pretty incredible to me. Because I've been there. I lost fights. I got back up. I want the titles back. I lost again. I got back up. I gained more respect. I lost again. <laughs> so failure is an experience. I'm enjoying my life and my experiences that I make. They're all different, but they're all enjoyable. Some of the guys, maybe in this age, think about something else, but I'm still in. I'm still on this hamster wheel, turning it, spinning it on my own pace, the way I want it. And one incredible thing that I want to mention to you, usually after a loss, you're getting in the line. Not in the front of the line, in the back of the line. To get the hope for a title shot. Since my rematch didn't happen, so I had to figure out what's next. And the best thing that could happen to me is having this challenger, your countryman. I'm speaking about uh, you guys from England. There's some guys from Germany behind you. The most amazing thing that happened to me, have this challenger baked, came out of the shadow, get people excited, being the most exciting heavyweight in the past history, a newcomer with a lot of question marks that's going to be answered on April 29th. But the appeal to this event, thanks to both of the fighters, AJ needs Klitschko and I need AJ to make it as big as it is. So after a failure, a lesson, I'm not in the line. My next stage is bigger than my previous stage. I was fighting, my last fight was so far a year and a half ago by the time I'm gonna stand in the ring, so more or less some of that. Was it, um, were there a 50,000 <coughs> stadium mm -hmm. in Dusseldorf? The next stage, after losing it, actually getting it bigger. So there's no kind of logic in it, right? Usually as a set of the failure, so you 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 starting sl slow and small and different, but it is incredible, right? An incredible career, which I'm enjoying a lot. I've learned what to do, and I've learned mostly what not to do during my preparation. I know this is a stage, and the stage is very high, and it's appealing a lot of interest to both country hands and also what is going to be said. What's the message you're sending out there? And I believe, and we all agree, I, I think, that this is a great message for sport of boxing. We have been promoting this fight. I think the size of this fight is so big, the meaning of it is big, but we haven't really promoted it much. Usually you, you do a bunch of press conferences and you do a lot of promotions and a lot of press work and all of this. And then, as you know, you know, all the controversy at the press conferences and, and, and so on. We haven't had it, much of it. So we did promote it, we, you know. But it's so obvious that both fighters are on the same eye level and this fight is truly 50-50. Is the young guy can make it? Is the old, older guy, I want to say myself, myself, call myself old, but older guy still got it. So question marks making this event really, really interesting. I'm having questions even myself. Like, listen, I, I had a, a, a break, the longest break in my 27th year since I started to box of my career. I never had a pause for a year and a half, being out, being inactive and out of the ring for a year and a half. Is it bad? Is it good? Uh, did it get rust? Or 
whatever. I don't know. I feel good. <coughs> Will I have rust in the ring? We'll see. I want to end this answer to myself. And I think we are agree on both sides that polishing of this sport, the way we promote this fight, the way both country hands handling each other is great. That hasn't been done for a long, long time. And I think the fruits of this promotion and of this fight, hopefully everything is going to go well. We cannot look too far in the future, but we all hope that this event is going to be great and the fruits of it are going to be great as well. Because from good usually comes good. So I do look forward to the challenge. I do look forward to face Joshua in the ring, not in the sparring ring, as you've seen it before during my preparation 2014, but an actual fight at Wembley. We know each other well, and we're preparing to fight each other pretty well too. So I do look forward to the challenge as you do look forward to this fight.